Today, I want to talk to you about a very important subject, mistakes that change the world. We all make errors on occasions. Fortunately, most of the time when we make a mistake, the results of our errors go unnoticed and are basically non-existent. We might seem a little uncomfortable and challenged in our missteps, but more often than not, time only goes on and the world neither notices nor cares that we messed up. Most of the time, that is. However, sometimes errors, even small ones that seem trifling at this moment, might turn out to have immense consequences, as in changing the world. As an introduction, I wanted to tell you a little mistake that changed my little world. It all started when we were on the plane to Morocco to see family and friends. Till my mom told me, I really want you to go to an orphanage so you can experience the life of other kids that are not so fortunate to have parents. And 10 days later, we were sitting at the lunch table till one of the sudden, my mom's friend gets a phone call. It was her brother and it was a pocket dial, so it was mistaken. But you know, adults, they had their conversation till he said, I'm on my way to the orphanage, the one I go to every week to volunteer for my sports lessons. When my mom heard this, she went ballistics. She couldn't believe it. She didn't know that this was true. So off we went into the car. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. Remember that old TV movie, Annie? Yeah, I thought there was going to be a Miss Hannigan there. But when we arrived, it was the most heartwarming place I've ever been to. All the kids were super kind to me. I never felt a connection with that. I never felt a connection that much with kids my age. It was crazy how they didn't even know what a cell phone was. They couldn't believe that you could call from one point to another point. They didn't even know what photos were. So it was hilarious to see them play with my phone. We were having a blast, but sadly it was time to go home. It went to, I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of scared, to I'm gonna be honest, I started crying because I had such a nice day. Now three years later, after hard working with this orphanage, I am proud to say that I have 109 adopted siblings living in the village, Sophia Dar Bouillard. Okay, so now, where were we? Mm, yeah. Okay, so the mistake that we're gonna talk about today is a teensy weensy bigger of a mistake. My speech isn't just a mistake that changed the world. No, my mistake created the world. The Big Bang. Imagine this, 13.8 billion years ago, it suddenly exploded. The universe that we know and that we're standing on was born. Time, space, and matter all began with the Big Bang. In a fraction of a second, the universe grew from smaller than a single atom to, to a universe, and it kept growing at a fantastic rate. It's still expanding today. As the universe expanded and cooled, energy changed into particles of matter and antimatter. But these two didn't really like each other, so they simply destroyed each other. Some matter did survive. Can you imagine that protons and neutrons started to form when the universe was only one second old? Over the next three minutes, the temperature dropped below one billion degrees Celsius. To put that in context, the lowest ever recorded temperature in, Ant in Antarctica was minus 86.8 degrees. Because of this, protons and neutrons started to form nuclei. With all these three forces coming together, boom, the universe was created. Without the Big Bang, there would be nothing. That doesn't mean pitch black, no, I mean nothing. The concept of nothing is very hard for humans to comprehend because we always had something. Even when we close our eyes, we still see something. We always had the clouds above our head or the grass beneath our feet. The Big Bang shows us history of how stars, galaxies, and rocky planets were formed. Stars would take, let's say, to 50 to 100 million years to form. And galaxies would take 150 to 250 million years to form. And rocky planets wouldn't even form till the, till the stars used up all their star power in a catastrophic explosion. Maybe it's not a coincidence that we're observing the planets uh, the universe 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang. Maybe it will give us a chance to experience more planets like our own, light years away. Okay, now I want you to think about it. 
We wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for mistakes. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to make a mistake every single day on purpose, but you could make some on occasions. Okay, maybe you won't make an entire universe, but you could make a mistake that betters your lives and the lives around you. For example, when Christopher Columbus discovered North America just because of a miscalculation, or when Alexander Fleming discovered Pentland, which helped save hundreds of thousands of people in World War II, life is full of mistakes. That's what forms our personalities and foundations. We learn from them, and we all make them on a daily basis. For example, when we forget to do our chores and our mom gets super mad at us and then we get punished, we learn to do our chores and to listen to our mom. And as once a, inf a famous psychologist once said, history is just people making old mistakes. Thank you for your time.